this is Courtney welcome welcome back to my channel I hope that you are having a good fall definitely feels like it I had to put on a little bit of a jacket earlier today so anyway I'm here to do a little quick video to talk to you about some classics now I am not one of those people that read traditional you know British classics even some of those classic um, children's novels like Alice in Wonderland and things like that that a lot of people read you know princess bride stuff like that just never been one of those things in my forte now have i seen some of those movies absolutely but one thing that i ran across while i was at the library because you know i'm a library girly is some graphic adaptations and it's very interesting so i picked up a few just to show you some here now i have the count of monte cristo i've known a few people in booktube that have done like read-alongs of this regular traditional book but you want a little cheat sheet bam there's a cheat sheet right uh count of monte cristo you know you have a man that has his life together has a beautiful woman gonna get married and bam gets sent to jail so now he's trying to prove his innocence and get out of jail very interesting now by the way this um full color graphic novel adaptations classics illustrated is a very very good publisher of a lot of these type stories okay you'll see a few of these you also have through the looking glass this is a sequel to alice in wonderland and illustrated classics there you also have Treasure Island. Now, this one's a little bit thicker, I will say. But, you know, lovely, beautiful colored classics out there if you want to take a look at Treasure Island. You also have The Invisible Man. I don't think I've ever heard of The Invisible Man. The Tale of a Man Who Has Discovered the Secret of Invisibility. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to add this to my TBR pile for the month there. Great Expectations. Now this is a book that I read when I was in school. Very much a classic. I did not realize, it's been a long time, this was a Charles Dickens book. Hmm, no idea. But you got Miss Haversham that was, you know, dumped at the altar and she's kind of stuck in time. And you got this orphan boy Pip that she seems like she wants to make an example out of him but you know he is determined to be successful in life but pretty interesting book there so that's illustrated classics i read this book a few months ago this is another graphic adaptation of a book called the jungle by epson sinclair about an immigrant family from where are they from lithuania or something but anyway it's about the um meat packing industry during the what ni early 1900s and this immigrant story of being taken advantage of but this was a pretty pretty hefty book here but i did enjoy that and the last book that i picked up is this one huge book as big as my head right dr jekyll and mr hyde you know you have this doctor that has created a serum that turns him to this you know monster other person but uh this one's definitely a classic here let's see what these illustrations look like oh these are huge and uh, i'm seeing naked ladies but anyway <laughs> big book here very clear illustrations as well i think i'll also add that to my list for this month so that's just a few of the classic literature in graphic format that i have picked up at the library and i'm sure there's countless others um out there so let me know if you've read any graphic adaptations of classic books and what you thought of them if you have any good recommendations for me bye y'all